Welcome back to the show. Coming up on Saturday night, Dublin, Ireland is the locale, the main event. Conor McGregor taking on Diego Brandao, and it'll be the first fight of 2014 for Conor McGregor, known as Notorious. And what's interesting about McGregor's style is we've seen over the years what works. And what works is, you know, for the most part, these guys with wrestling backgrounds that add to their yeah. game. Conor McGregor didn't start with a wrestling background. Of course, he's added that to his game. He's one of the very few fighters that started with a boxing background. And I think that's what separates him because of that foot movement and his awareness. That's why he's been as successful as he's been. And I know he's going to be successful in the future. You just nailed that. like, And you nailed it hard because it is not his combinations. It's not the way he moves his head. It's not the way he moves his head. It's the way he moves his feet and his awareness, his understanding of what can happen when he takes the risks to put his combinations together. The combinations are beautiful. The step-offs and, and, and re-entries are beautiful. But it's his management of space, I think, is the key. The guy's the real thing. What, did he knock out 12 of the 14 yeah. guys he's beat? It's, it's you know, that's legit. And he has looked really good. I think he's going to just run right through Brandau. Absolutely no disrespect to Brandau. But the guy has shown some mental weakness, missing weight by like six pounds one time, <laughs> kind of breaking down at weigh-ins and threatening to slit Dustin Poirier's <laughs> throat. You know, uh, uh, really fading later in a fight. These these are all the things that play well into a guy who walks out super confident wearing nice suits. You know, like, it's just suits. He's the perfect opponent for a confident, relaxed, smart guy who sees the fight a little slower. you got to weather the storm with Brandau. And if Brandau's win winning this, it's in the first round. But I think this is all Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor originally set to take on American top teams. Uh, Miller, he's out. Brandau takes this fight on short notice. Is this a good move for him to take this fight, considering he's facing a guy that a lot of people believe is going to be a huge star for the organization, including UFC President Dana White? I think it is a good move. I think those things I mentioned, the throat slitting business and the missing weight and stuff harmed him. And stepping in to take on a tough guy that nobody else really wants to fight, they say they do, but the lower level guys don't, on short notice in enemy territory, I think this puts him back in the good books. If he can reset himself mentally and go in and have a great performance, maybe upset him. This guy just took a bunch of negatives and turned it into a positive, and good on him for taking the fight. Talk about some of the other fights on the card, 170 pounds, Zach Cummings with a bunch of submission victories, nine submission victories on his resume, but he's gonna be taking on Gunnar Nelson, who is arguably one of the best submission fighters in the entire 170 Yes, uh, and hey, Cummings is an overachiever, but I don't think he's gonna overachieve this one. Nelson is, within a year, gonna be in the top 10 Easy, hands down. Brad Pickett and Ian McCall also round out the main event. It is going to be an outstanding fight card from Dublin, Ireland. Next week, we are taking a look at the action that will go down on Fox in the main event. Robbie Lawler and Matt Brown. It is all about fireworks. That is it for us for now. We will see you next week on Five Rounds.